It's here, the commercial holiday that often makes singles feel, well, unseen. They don't get flowers or chocolates, they don't have someone to escape with for the weekend, and they don't get special treatment. Or do they? According to Jack LaFleur, a registered psychotherapist in Ottawa, singles can tackle this holiday with confidence based on the very same principles offered in this popular relationship book, The Five Love Languages. Can you help give the audience a different perspective for singles on this commercial coupled holiday? So we, our society doesn't value singles as much as it seems to value couples. And so on Valentine's Day, if you happen to be single, for a lot of people who may have you know, their own uh, difficulties with comparison, right, comparing themselves to others, which is a form of self-judgment, uh, they can go down a little bit of a hole. Bring all of that love and consideration to yourself, right? If you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. I like to use the model that uh, a lot of people have heard of. It's the five love languages written by Gary Chapman. The languages are receiving gifts, physical touch, acts of service, quality time, and words of affirmation. If you know what your love language is, here's how you can experience special treatment as an uncoupled person. Yes, right? So that's the number one thing that people usually think of, whether it's flowers or whatever. So if you like flowers, go get yourself some flowers, right? Adorn your place with a bunch of flowers, right? If you happen to love them and it contributes to beauty in your place, then go for it. Physical touch is the second one. Go get a massage, right? Have somebody else touch you. Don't complain and whine about the fact that you don't have somebody to do that. You can you know, get, go get yourself a massage. Acts of service, and I was thinking, instead of somehow engineering someone doing something for you, um, actually, probably one of the best things that you could do for yourself is go do an act of service for someone else. Uh, we are built in such a way that when we give to others uh, in some way, random acts of kindness, when we do that, we make our, we get ourselves to feel fantastic. Quality time is the next one. Singles, right? You've probably developed some uh, routine or practice around doing things on your own, whether it's going to a restaurant by yourself, going to the library, you know, like what works for your nervous system? For instance, you know, deciding to go, you know, into nature for an afternoon or a spa, right? something that's going to kind of have a really soothing, healing, calming effect, right, on your mind, your emotions, your nervous system in general, words of affirmation. So for instance, an old staple is I'm enough, I matter just as I am, despite my imperfections, and because that's true, I'm gonna hold myself in loving kindness. LaFleur reminds us that love comes in many different forms, and the most important love of all is the love we have for ourselves. There are so many facets to love, and one of which is the uh, agape form of love, where it's more of a universal humanistic love. That would, I think, perhaps start to change. And the people who are single, either by choice or not, would perhaps stop feeling less lonely. For WPBS Weekly, I'm Jolene DeRosier.